Hello guys, welcome to this channel. So, the topic that I prepared today is another more tips and tricks in terms of uh, creating the door frames, the door trim with formula that shown in the project, the on and off, and saving your time once you're uh, modeling uh, more uh, shape uh, or more uh, door frame and door trim design to your project. Okay, so before we go straight to the tutorial, I would like to ask to everyone, please watch every part of this video because I make this step by step and please consider to like, share or subscribe. Okay, so here I am, the door family templates. Uh, so this is the mock-up that I want to show it or I want to use in this trim tutorial okay or door trim tutorial okay so first thing i will do is to command thin line okay tl for the shortcut to make it my object is more clear okay or you can also go here and just select that one okay so now what i'm going to do is just select this wall okay and select this by holding the control shift and here in the eyeglass icon i just simply select this hide element because i don't i don't need that for now okay so now what i'm going to do next is to uh, create a more uh, reference uh, line here that represent the trim design of this door okay or to present the tr trim design of this door so now what I'm going to do is to command the RV, so that is the reference plane, okay, RV, and DI for the shortcut to dimension it, the reference plane. I just simply select it, this, and I just set all the trim uh, width into 10 millimeter, okay, so this is the very uh, standard, okay. So now what I'm going to do is to select this one and add a label for this one. So I call this or I name this into trim width. Okay. And now I just want to select this MM for the shortcut to mirror it in the other side. Make sure that you snap in the middle reference plane and di again for the shortcut to dimension it make sure that align it in the top one that you created one and select again and assign it into trim width oops make sure that you assign it in the proper label okay like this so now again i just simply select this and assign it also this into trim width Okay, so I just simply select this to reference line by holding the control shift MM for the shortcut and I just simply mirror it in the other side. So now I simply command DI again, okay, and snap it there, okay, DI, and of course I need to assign it again in the trim width so now di again to dimension it this and you lock it now okay just simply lock it that one so what i'm going to do next is to check it this if working properly you can drag it all the way this reference line okay so this is what i want okay so if i see select this reference plane and i just simply drag it i just want to follow this okay if i want to okay this is what i want so now what i'm going to do Next is to create now the uh, trim or door trim. Okay, so to do that one, I just use this. Uh, I just go here into the tabs on the ribbon, select this create. 
Okay, and I just use this web for this. Uh, trim model. Okay, I just simply use this sketch. Okay, set. Okay, and I just simply uh, work into my reference print exterior. Okay, because I'm working in the exterior uh, place. Okay, hit OK. And now elevation exterior open. And you can go automatically here and use the pick line. Make sure that lock it. Okay. Okay. So if I select this, I pick this one, you can see automatically you draw the shape in this part. Okay. So now I just simply select this as my number two. And this is number three. TR for the shortcut to trim it. Okay. And you can use it the Trim and extend here by selecting this label and select the swap line, okay? And assign it again the material, okay? So that is the material that is created before into my last video, okay? And I just hit finish and now I just go to edit profile, open. Reference level, so I go back here in reference level. Now I just simply use again the pick line. Make sure that you lock it, okay? And now start to picking the reference line that we added, okay? So I just simply select this. Okay, I just want to select this one, this one, okay? This one, this one, this one. Okay, this, this this okay and this one okay so now tr for the shortcut i just want to start here to make it uh, clear okay and now i just use this PLA arc and here in my left side i just simply check this regions or enable this one and i just set this into 10 and now i just start to picking this Okay, oops, take this one, okay, and here, this one, okay, so now I just simply use the TR, delete this dimension, okay, TR, okay, TR, 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 and the last one you can DE or delete TR again to trim it. Okay, so once you have this, okay, once you pick all the lines and set uh, the trim shape, okay, door trim shape, you can hit finish already and hit finish, okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to go into 3D and to check it this go adjust it to fine and realistic. So TL again, thin lines. Okay, so this is the one that uh, I did. Okay, so this is the trim with already. If um, I select this one and hit the tab, select this trim, okay, hit the tab. You can select the other one, so that is the trim. Okay, I just want it combined into these uh, templates, okay? You see the output or this is giving sense in the last part of this video. Okay, so now I just go into reference level and then for now I just simply set this into fine and realistic. Okay, so this is the trim, uh, door trim design. Okay, and the other one is the frame that I created before. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to set now the uh, associate family for this door trim and door frame. Also, okay, so to do that one, I just simply select this trim, okay, door trim, and here in the visible, I just create a family here that this is instant, okay. Family type. 
Okay, I just named this into trim for short, okay? Trim, and I just simply select the other one. Hit the tab to select only the frame, okay? And now here in the visible, I just simply select this, and now I just simply create a new one, instant, and I just simply name it this into frame. And hit OK. So now, what I'm going to do next is to go into 3D, and I just want to set the door flexibility okay so to do that one you can go here into the family types okay and here you can add one here so this is my default one so that is the zero one and i just want to add once more and this is the zero two hit apply and now i just want my flexible in this two so to do that one i just simply go here in dimension i just set this into 90 this is 40, okay, sorry, 40, my height is 1,800, the trim width is 7 or 8, and my width, okay, is 800. Apply, so that is my door flexibility, okay? I just create this one because I just want to uh, all automatically to save my time instead of uh, setting one by one okay so i just prepared it to use it this okay so now i just simply go and select it the my what the one okay because i'm working to that one so i apply and it's okay so that is the one already okay so what i'm going to do next is to check it into the project so i just go into pile to open a new project new project and now i simply hit okay because my drawing is uh, default in millimeter. Okay, so WA for the shortcut, okay, to the wall. So I just simply go here and set it into level two only, and I simply draw a wall here, that dimension of five meter, and I just simply control tab to go to the family. And now I just simply load it this into my project. Okay, so once I load this and I just go or I just change this into fine and realistic, this is what he look into my project and I just simply go into 3D to check it. I just simply adjust it to fine and re fine, realistic. So this is the one already. Okay, so now if you want to rotate it, you can use the ship. Okay, shift to your keyboard and rotate it by full the scroll to your mouse, okay, or tap it. So now what I'm going to do next is to check now the visibility that we add here. Basic in the basic uh, in the basic, okay, that I assign into this uh, family. Okay, I just simply select here in the go to properties and if you drag it all the way down like this, you can see it this. You can manually set it this together, okay? You can manually it set it also this uh, door frame is on or off, okay? And you select it this family, Okay, I just want my trim is on and I just, I want the, the trim is off. So that is the manually um, tick, uh, trips, tips, okay, it's automatically, that is very standard, basic, once you assign it into the family template, okay. Now I just want to more it uh, interesting this family, okay. So to save my time, even I uh, design it more different with different height into my project, okay, different kind of door, I, you can, I can use it this by using the formula. Okay, so let's proceed to that one. So I just go by double clicking this family. Okay, so now here in the family, I go to create or family types. And now I just want to 
create a formula here. Okay, but before that, I will, I want to change it into 3D for more uh, clear, or to more clear. Okay, now I go here in the family types and I just set now the formula that I mentioned. Okay, so the formula that I prepared to this uh, disability, okay, in the other, if I scroll down this one, okay, you see this door frame added and the trim, door trim that I added as instant in the parameter. Okay, so this trim, I just simply select all this and control copy. And the formula here is not, okay, in parentheses, control B, so that is the trim, and I just simply close parentheses, apply, and hit, okay, so this is visible once I load only the trim, okay, so apply, and hit, okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to go into load. Okay, you load again into the project. Okay, now here family already exists. Okay, overwrite the existing versions and its parameter values. Okay, so now once I select this stream or door family or trim family, I just simply we scroll it down. I just want to enable this one. Okay. This stream automatically. Okay. And I, if I uncheck this one, okay, automatically the door trim is hide. Okay. So that is the formula, or so that is the tips and tricks that you that I prepared in this tutorial okay so I hope that this uh, tutorial is helpful to each and everyone and you can place it this as per my uh, steps that I did in the beginning okay so I hope that this uh, tutorial tutorial is uh, giving to each and every one uh, tips or uh, some basic knowledge especially in the beginner to help your uh, some information regarding to the door uh, designing or door door modeling okay, if you want to flexible uh, more design you can combine it the door frame and door trim and you can make it a formula to visible and invisible to your project, okay? So that is on and off. Even you can change also this uh, door panel, okay? So thank you for watching to this channel and I, please consider to like, share, or subscribe. So it's helped out a lot. So everyone updated once I make a video tutorial like this.